Hello and welcome. My name is Yves Sanford. I'm the CEO of the Convolution Group and today I'm going to present to you VMware vCloud Automation Center 6.0 Basic VCAC Infrastructure as a Service or short IAAS configuration. After we have validated that all the VCAC services on the appliance are up and running and by the way if you want to check how we made this work go and watch the basic VCAC appliance configuration video we can switch to the installer um, URL of the appliance that's the appliance IP or fully qualified domain name colon 54880 uh, slash installer from here you are going to download the so-called setup.exe file um, be sure to not change the file name of this one. This is quite important, um, otherwise it will just actually cause issues during the um, install. Once it is downloaded, just double click the setup file and um, this will actually start um, downloading the necessary components from the VCAC server and start the basic installation and configuration process. Um, UAC might pop up, um, you just click yes to confirm um, that you want to continue the installation process with um, this specific application. Once UAC is confirmed, it will take a couple of seconds until the um, installation welcome screen will um, pop up. Um, this is the usual welcome information. Just click next to get to the next screen, read through the license agreement, click that you want to accept the license agreement and license term. Um, again, click next. It's important here, we are going to log into the VCAC appliance again. In this case, it's going to be root plus the password you um, originally configured um, for your VCAC appliance. In our specific lab scenario, this is going to be VMware123BANG. Once the login information has been provided, just click the next button, which will load all the necessary informations from the VCAC um, appliance. We are going to leverage a complete install as we want to build a quick and easy setup for a proof of concept scenario. You could also click custom install, but in our case, we stick with complete install. Just click next. Now the system is going to run the prerequisites checker for the database components. Um, for this to be successful, there is a pre-built PowerShell script which you can download from the VMware blog homepage, which allows you to pre-configure a Windows 2008 R2 system so that it runs smoothly um, through the prerequisites check. As you can see, most of it is complete, most of it is okay. Um, those pieces which are set to warnings here are either pieces which VCAC can't check in our scenario or which are um, just open um, for the system as it currently doesn't know where we are going to actually host the um, database server and how the firewall setup um, is correctly um, configured and stuff like that. So we are going to just hit bypass um, to get um, over to the next scenario and then once that is um, clicked we are going to click next. On this screen we need to tell VCAC how you want to run the service. We want to run the service with the username CAB uh, backslash VCAC admin, password is VMware123bang all the time, passphrase the same. Um, clearly for a normal environment you would want to leverage something else. In our case this is fine. For the SQL server, in our case, that's an external box. Just pick the other SQL user, uh, SQL um, host name. If it's on the same box, you need to have it pre-configured and then it would leverage it. Database name, we want to stick with VCAC. And in our case, we want to leverage Windows authentication. Again, the system is going to check everything and um, moves on. Um, on this screen, we are going to um, quickly configure the um, 
dem work in this scenario we just give the dem worker the name dem orchestrator name deo um, vSphere agent is going to be automatically installed with the system we call it vSphere agent with an uppercase s and an uppercase a and the endpoint should be called vCenter with an uppercase c it's important to note down these names if you are going to change them because later on during the installation, you might need to manually reconfigure certain parameters if you change the names over here. Move on to the next step by clicking next. In this scenario, we need to register VCAC against SSO. For that, we load the SSO parameters from the actual VCAC server. We need to download the um, actual certificate um, and we need to be able to log into SSO with an administrator user in our case. This is going to be administrator at vSphere.local with a password vmware123bang. Um, be sure that you test all the connectivity. Oops, forgot to download the certificate. So you need to download the certificate in the first place um, for this to work. And you need to confirm that you accept the certificate, especially if it's not um, a certificate which is authorized by um, a root certificate. Click test for both scenarios. You should find that both are passed. Again, it's important that fully qualified domain names are properly set up. Click next again, you will see a confirmation screen and then you click install and the install procedure is going to run. This usually takes a couple of minutes and we are going to shorten that in this video. Be prepared for a few minutes if you run that for your POC environment. You will see that during the um, actual install procedure, there are several pop-up windows coming up. Don't get confused by them. Do not close or touch any of them. Just wait for the overall process um, to finish. Um, again, it's going to take a couple of uh, minutes or a bit more. Several of these steps um, um, actually, as said, open up um, specific pop-up windows, but overall the process should run through pretty smoothly as the um, prerequisites checker has validated most of your settings already up front. So again, as we can see, once the installation is completed, you will get an installation completed successfully message. And then from there on, you can click next. You will get a confirmation. In our case, we don't want to have the guide for the initial system configuration. We just click um, confirm. Thank you for watching this video presentation. Um, VMware vCloud Automation Center 6.0 Basic VCAC IAAS configuration. My name is Yves Sanford. I'm the CEO of the Comdivision Group. Um, follow me on Twitter at Yves Sanford or just drop me an email at y.sanford at comdivision.com. Thank you and hope to see you soon on one of our other video presentations.